using keyboard a keyboard is an input device it's a very important part of the computer because the computer can only function if you give it commands or input keyboard is a peripheral device used for typing characters in the computer it inputs data and instructions to the computer keyboard a keyboard has more than 100 keys standard keyboards follow a qwerty keypad system this odd representation of keys was used to separate the common letter combinations and avoid jamming there are different categories of keys on a keyboard alphabet keys numeric keys numeric keypad special keys function keys and navigation keys types of keys alphabet keys this part of the keyboard contains the letters from a to z they are used to enter letters by pressing the keys these are a set of 26 alphabetic keys from a to z the letters written on the keyboard are in capital but it normally inputs small letters and if you want to write in capital letters you must put the caps lock key on by pressing the caps lock key once numeric keys keys having numbers 0 to 9 in a sequence are called numeric keys they are always located above the first row of alphabet keys on the keyboard you can input data like age roll number salary marks etc using the numeric keys number pad in many keyboards digits from 0 to 9 together with other keys are arranged in a square this part of the keyboard is called number or numeric keypad it also has other keys like enter delete number lock and symbol keys there are arrow keys with digits 2 4 6 and 8 when the num lock key is on the keys function as numeric keys when the num lock key is off the keys act as arrow or cursor keys special keys there are some keys on the keyboard that have symbols on them like lesser than greater than signs question mark equal to sign etc if you also see the number keys carefully you will see symbols like at the rate percentage ampersand etc above the digits if you simply type on the keyboard then the number will be typed to write these symbols along with the number key you also need to press the shift key so shift key is also called a special key some other special keys are caps lock when it is on alphabet keys write capital letters when it is off alphabet keys write small letters backspace it deletes whatever is written before the cursor delete it deletes whatever is written after the cursor space bar It is the longest key of the keyboard and used to give a blank space after the cursor. Enter. It is used to go to the next line while writing and is used to execute a program like paint. Tab. It is used to type sequence of blank spaces after the cursor. Function keys. Function keys are located at the topmost row in the keyboard. These are 12 in number. the function keys or f keys are labeled f1 through f12 they have a special function defined by the operating system or by a currently running program they may be combined with the shift or alt or control keys almost all programs pressing f1 key takes you to help and f5 key is used to refresh navigation keys These are keyboard keys used to move the cursor around on the screen. They include four arrow keys, page up, page down, home and end keys. Arrow keys. The arrow keys are used to move within a window. When you're writing on a computer, they are used to move the cursor. Cursor is a vertical blinking line where you can write something. 
there are four arrow keys on the keyboard that help to move right, left, top and bottom. Page up and down keys. These two keys are primarily used to scroll up or down in documents. However, the scrolling distance varies between different applications. Keyboard manners. Keyboard is an important part of a computer system. It is very essential for entering text on a computer. So, you should be aware about the proper handling of a keyboard. Some points which you should keep in mind while using keyboard include Do not press the keys on the keyboard too hard. Also, do not pull the keys out of the keyboard. Do not keep anything on the keyboard like your books and pencil boxes. Do not pull keyboard from its place. It may damage the wire of your keyboard. While eating and drinking, do not touch the keyboard. Always use your hand for typing. Press the keys very gently and remove your finger as soon as you have typed the letter.